Season 8 has been around for just over a month now, and in that time, a bunch of new items have made their way into the game, changing Fortnite once again in ways that we never could have imagined. But are you taking advantage of all the new additions? Or are you just making the same old mistakes? What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to be going over some of the biggest mistakes that you are making this season. But hey, before I get into any of that, if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, we've got the perfect thing for you. World class coaching that anyone can benefit from. With coaches that are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the last week alone, our coaches helped a hundred students climb from contenders to champions. So if you want to be next, visit ProGuides in the link below right now. On Tuesday, the 21st of September, something new and incredibly powerful got added to Fortnite. For the first time in a very long time, we received a new trap. But this trap isn't for killing your enemies, it's entirely defensive. I am, of course, talking about wall armor. Wall armor is a brand new trap that you can add to your builds, and if you aren't using it, you're seriously missing out. Doing this basically makes your builds indestructible. Okay, not quite, but they will become incredibly resistant to damage, which is going to allow you to do things like holding walls much easier. It's currently uncertain if the wall armor will be making its way into competitive when arena resets next week, but if it does, you can be sure that a lot of people are going to be exploiting it. So if you don't want to be left behind and you don't want your builds to be taken so easily, you need to be using it too. It's a simple mistake and one you should never ever make again. Something we see way too often these days is people who stick to the same loadout every single game with no variation no matter what situation they find themselves in. Nuts and bolts in Season 8 are even more useful than they were in Season 7, allowing you to sidegrade your weapons into a ton of different options. At the very least, you should be looking to try out something that is different from the standard AR and pump. The burst AR is an incredible option, and the charge shotgun can be seriously deadly for those who know how to use it. Not only that, there are two brand new cube weapons that you can get from the sideways, and both of these are incredibly strong. Basically, if you feel like you're getting a bit too comfortable with the old reliable combo of the AR and the pump, you should try switching it up, especially while we're in the preseason. This time is meant to be for experimentation, so go out and experiment. Next up is another incredibly simple tip that is very easily avoidable in Season 8, and that's don't peek for too long. Everyone has been in the situation where you're trying to shoot an enemy quite far away with an AR, and then they whip out a sniper and headshot you right back to the lobby. It's easy to be caught off guard by a sniper shot to the head, especially with how many sniper options there are in the game right now. But at the same time, this is a mistake that no one should actually be making. You can train your peeking skills by practicing in creative and by simply by being more aware of how much time you're spending outside of cover. Equally, try not to take risks by healing out in the open. It's something we've all done before and we all know exactly how it ends. A sniper bullet to the head. Always make sure you're boxed up, keep your risks low and your rewards high. Before we go any further, it's the question of the day. Today, I want to know what mistakes you think you're making in Fortnite. Leave it down in the comments below. And hey, if you're down in the comments and you notice someone is making a mistake that you know how to fix yourself, then why not give them a little tip of your own? We're the Fortnite fam after all, and that's what a fam does. One of the really big things that will differentiate a pro player to someone who is more casual is the level of planning that goes into each of their games. In every single competitive tournament, or even just arena, you'll find that every pro will have their own drop spot and a designated looting route, as well as somewhere planned out for them to rotate to further in the game. The start of each game is less like a hyper-aggressive battle royale and is more like a planned out game of chess. As long as they aren't contested by another team or pushed off spawn, they're going to know exactly how the game is going to play out by the time they reach the mid game. Now, of course, I'm not expecting every Tom, Dick or Harry to be able to analyze and predict everything in a game like the best pros, but you do need to stop going into matches completely blind as to where you and your teammates are planning to rotate. If you have a drop spot all planned out, then that's a good start. But you also should plan out things like what chest spawns you're going to hunt for loot at. If you take the time to properly choose and then plan out a drop spot and loot route, you're going to see a major boost in consistency when it comes to your performance. Another major mistake that just about anyone can stop making in Fortnite is something that is once again super easy to fix. You don't even need to be a good player. 
simply don't carry too many weapons in your games. The meta at the moment may be in a state of flux, as it always is at the start of a Fortnite season, but honestly, you can still dominate using only two guns if necessary, that old classic combo of the pump and the AR. Oh, but Matt, you told us to avoid getting too reliant on those weapons like two points ago. I hear you cry in the comments, and yes, I did. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be using this deadly combo in the right situations. And either way, you should still be leaving room in your inventory for heals and other situational items, no matter what loadout you're rocking. The only time you should really have three weapons in your inventory is when you get lucky enough to find a sniper to fill out your third slot. I mean, take a minute to think. Is having an SMG alongside your pump and your AR really going to change your game? The answer is probably not, so having a nice utility item like a medkit or some minis is going to be way more beneficial to you over the course of the game, and will help you out if you find yourself in a sticky situation. Now, by all means run four weapons if you haven't come across something more useful, but you should really try and keep it down to three. Added in Season 8, the Sideways is a majorly scary area to go into. Not only does it look spooky, and not only are there a bunch of demonic monsters looking to rip your face off, but you also can't build. Why would you ever choose to go there? Well, viewers, you'd go there because this is the easiest way to get a mythic item in Season 8. There used to be a time where there were only a few mythics in Fortnite, and only a few people could get them for slaying bosses. Well, guess what? Now everyone can craft their way up to mythic items by using the cube fragments found in the sideways. So. You want to scoop up a tasty mythic weapon without even having to go anywhere near a boss? Of course you do. In that case, you should be going to the sideways and slaying monsters in the early game. Of course, watch out for any players trying to push up on you while you're farming fragments. Those jokes about not being able to build in the sideways are still true, and you're not going to want to end up dead because you weren't paying any attention. Alright Fortnite fam, that's all we've got for you today. I hope you've learned a few things from this video, because everything we mentioned today is incredibly easy to change. All it takes is a few steps and the right knowledge. You've got the knowledge, all you need to do is take the steps. We're going to have even more incredible tips and tricks over the course of this Fortnite season, so if you haven't done so already, you need to make sure you've subscribed or with the bell button turned on, so you never miss a single video going forward. Also, remember to like this video if you think it helped you out. Anyway, with all that said, We'll see you in the next one.